actually handsome, which is apparently going to work pretty well. But then you can, you know, some of the penalties can change, especially if there's like a, a mismatch in uh, nationality, for example. There might be some issues here. Um, in this case, I think they're exactly the same. I think the cost is exactly the same. I don't think it makes a difference. So, I don't know. We'll send this guy. <laughs> uh, assign. Can't let the masters be idle. We should keep both of them busy. Try finding associates in other branch of government. So, right. So, uh, we're working on the chief treasurer here. Let's see if we can grab the cardinal. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, Wilson is busy. We're going to try to send Roger here. And this one's got the 10,000% boost as well. So, this is another guaranteed success. Thank you, tutorial. Okay. Now that both our brothers are running their errands, all we can do is wait to return. In the meantime, I found a stock of excellent whiskey in the cellar of the new hideout. Would you like some? Maybe I should have a drink for this. Wait for the errands to finish. Uh, oh, and be mindful of Brother Isaiah's provocations. Uh-huh. He likes a bit of a tipple. And then we get an event listing over here. So these guys are just processing the work. We'll just let that count down, and we should auto-recruit both. We did a Grandmaster. We have now valuable connection to the three main institutions in England. But let's not rest just yet. Focus on the last institution. I just so happened to meet the niece of the Distinguished General. Uh, by the way, have you seen Brother Isaiah? I haven't seen him all day. Yeah, he's probably passed out somewhere. Uh, here you can see how much the Brotherhood managed to subdue a country's institution. What is that actually highlighting? I mean, I think it's talking about this. Um, each in official has influence inside one or more of the institutions. As soon as this person joins the Brotherhood, his influence will be added to ours. So yeah, we have 19% influence in the government. We have 21% in the economic institutions. And we're still 0% in military. Um, so we need to recruit some more. So let's see what we can do. We've got the Supreme Commander of the, uh, English forces over here. We are no longer 100% guaranteed to recruit. We've lost our 10,000% boost. So now, yeah, three previous Grand Masters tried his whiskey. Maybe that's what happened. That's a good point. Um, so with Persuasion selected, uh, Walter has a 70% chance of success. See, Roger only has a 55% chance of success. Maybe it pays to be handsome or handsome conformist or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll try this. What about if we want bribery? 80%. Okay. And intimidation. So you see the cost. Persuasion costs influence. Bribery costs money. Intimidation costs power over here. Uh, this is down to 60%. Bribery is an 80% chance of success. Now, the difference, though, is if we succeed with persuasion, the target's loyalty goes up by one. Bribery, we don't get that. So, it does seem to be most beneficial. if Because the idea is, I think, you convince people, like, no, this is team awesome. You clearly want to be on this, and then they'll be more loyal. Whereas if you just bribe them, eh, maybe not. Now, we could also, yeah, we could also target some people lower down on this list. Um, so, we've got the army general over here, for example. Um, and we could see if maybe he's a little bit easier. 66% chance, or 63. So it's a little bit lower. Can't be bribed, apparently. He could be intimidating. Intimidated. Although, you can see, winning him over by intimidation will actually decrease his loyalty. So again, we really want to recruit as many people with persuasion as possible. I think I'm going to try for the Supreme Commander here. 70% of the time, this works every time. Boom. Yet, yeah, what about the king? That's a great point. Um, 0% chance of persuasion, 0% chance of bribery, 15% chance of intimidation. And then, in addition to the king, uh, there's also the king's advisor. Which could work, but feels fairly difficult. Oh, the king, it says untouchable? Does it? Oh yeah, untouchable. Uh, they officially turn a blind eye to man's crimes. Government confidence in him never diminishes. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, it's that, yeah. <laughs> no one, no one will question anything the king does. Because he's the freaking king. Uh, what about the garrison general? It'd be nice to do a second one of these. Although, oh, the odds are so low. Oh, that's not so bad. Got an 81% chance on this guy. Again, I'd rather try the persuasion if we can. So let's do this. So both brothers have been assigned. It's good to be king. Uh, sorry, Grandmaster. I'm getting slower these days. What did I miss? Dude. 
Uh, fantastic. We now have an adept in our ranks. According to the Brotherhood manuscripts, adepts are members of the Brotherhood who hold key posts in the government. It is through them that we can discreetly guide the, the country's policies. That's true. We have two. And I like the change, right? They get they get the little cowled hoods on to show that these are members of the Brotherhood. Very cool. Um, each state post has a certain range of powers. In the current version of the game, recruiting an official unlocks the corresponding actions for the masters. In the future, it's possible to assign errands directly to the adepts using their powers. Unlike masters, adepts and neophytes use local resources for the assignments, but also gather them. To convert local resources into global one and vice versa, use the special action your master, treasurer, withdraw, and transfer resources. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it's time to make use of our fruits of our labors and get resources for Brotherhood's treasury. We have connections to the English economic institution. Let's use them to increase our wealth. So, they want us to select the chief treasurer, and then we're going to exploit the state post. Is that official power? No. Nope. Brotherhood? Ah, run Aaron. Exploitation of the state post. Perfect. We're going to run this. The adept will be drawing local resources of the Brotherhood until he receives other orders. The type and amount of resources depend on the influence of the position held by the adept. Oh, we're going to set, um, oh, I like this. So this is going to run continuously, but if this add up secrecy falls below a certain point, let's say if it drops below 50 secrecy, it'll get pulled on hold. Probability of resistance. Oh, oh, this is, this has changed. So in the pre-release version I was using, there was a slider for awareness. Now, probability of resistance, the chance the country will pay attention to the actions of the Brotherhood and will oppose it. If probability exceeds the set level, the agent will not perform any actions in order to execute an errand. So, 10%? 25%? How much do we want to push our luck? Maybe 20%. If the probability of resistance is above 20%, we're going to chill. 18. 18% it is. Done. And then resources. If the amount of local resources below a specified level, the agent will not take new actions within the errand and will wait until the resources level. I don't know. I think it's fine. If there's anything to grab, we'll just grab it. Maximum secrecy? Well, we recover one per day. No, I think I think this might be okay. I don't know. No idea. I'm going to sign this. Note that when the Aaron icon is going blue, it means the adept has accepted the Aaron and will continue to extract local resources until a border by clicking the icon again. He will spend his secrecy in this action. When depleted, he'll automatically wait for it to recover and resume the Aaron. Our brothers are off on their errand. At least we can afford a good night's sleep. Wait for the errands to finish. Yes. So we'll just unpause. I mean, maybe I should have left it at 0% chance of resistance, but... Mm. Grandmaster, I'm having some worries. Let's take a look at the situation in England. Select England for an overview. Okay. Ah, just as I thought. Yeah, so these things were had the little light lock icon. Now they're unlocked and show us. Just as I thought. Look at the awareness and public order. Public order reflects the overall level of government control over a country. The lower it is, the worse it is in the country, but easier it is for our brothers to act unnoticed. The moment public order is high, awareness, this one's very important, shows how much attention the authorities uh, we have drawn from our actions. If there's too high, horrible consequences may unfold. So the awareness at 11 right now, uh, and it's currently going up because we're starting to mission, but the probability of resistance is still 0%. Okay. We have attracted too much attention. Uh, our supporters in the country's institution are not strong enough to shelter us yet. If we don't do something now, this could end horribly. Hurry, Grandmaster. Call the brothers off their errands. Be in tutorial mode. Hold alt. And we can say, listen, uh, okay, stop. Uh, stop recruiting. And stop recruiting. There you go. Note the adepts. Awareness uh, growth was halted and will remain at the same level, while the adepts or neophytes are busy extracting resources and exploiting their state posts. To lower awareness, cancel these errands. Hope we've been prepared from danger. Forgive me, Grandmaster. I was careless. I mean, I think we're actually fine. It's just teaching us how to eliminate this. Um, however, we need resources to proceed. Gain at least 300 local influence, wealth, and power for England. Um, we can recruit adepts and have them exploit the position. Try to prevent them from gaining too much awareness. Right, right, right. So we're just going to go and I think do exactly what we we're doing before. Um, were we getting grabbing you? Yeah, we're going to try to persuade you. And there was someone else in here who wasn't too difficult to grab. Uh, not you. There you go. That's not so bad. We're going to try to recruit these two and then see what we can do. <laughs> yeah, is it possible to slow their growth if you drop the mine? Maybe. Yeah, it's a good point. I don't know. Maybe maybe extracting too many resources is is bad. 
Oh, we succeeded both of these. Let me tell you something. When I was um, when I was doing the initial like learning tutorial, I had a hell of a hard time getting a successful uh, go on the military ones. I just kept failing. I was just really bad at my die rolls. Okay, so we have some more peeps in government, which is handy. Um, we should theoretically get more resources going on here. Um, I think, yeah, you can also do this. And I like that it saves things. Maybe we'll put, keep the probability resistance, like only run if it's there. But let's extract resources a little bit faster, since that's specifically our mission we've got going on right now. Let's have three of these trying to extract resources. Meanwhile, the brothers over here, I don't know, I guess they can just chill. Because, yeah, all we're waiting is for these numbers to go up. Run the errands with the green dude. Oh, over here? Yeah, the cardinal. He's doing that too. Wait, is he hiding signs of activity? Oh, maybe he hit a, a break point, so he's not actually running. Or did I click the wrong thing? So hide signs of activity um, boosts their... Um, I think I think that one helps to lower awareness. So I think they're auto-trying to... I did pick the wrong one. Although... Well, we should run it because right now we're behind on the green. So, yeah. Let me cancel you. Hang on. Did he give me the same... Oh, that's interesting. Same same bar. But, okay. We'll do that because we are behind on the actual green generation. We've got enough of the, um, the middle. So, let me cancel you. And, actually, I will go and hide signs of activity to help reduce awareness. That seems like a good idea. Um, so awareness is actually dropping right now, which is nice. And even though we're at 34 awareness, the probability of resistance is still zero. Okay, so it does seem like it takes a while to get there, which is good. So we're just waiting for this to hit 300, which should be happening now. Guy on the bottom right of the government list was 80%. Was he? Was that the guy I was clicking before? Yeah. There you go. Let's grab him. I wonder if there's a few other easily recruitable people. 55 is not great. Again, we're hoping to use uh, Persuasion, if possible, because it does boost their initial loyalty, which seems really useful. 35%. Um, that might not be so bad. Let's try this one. Go. Oh, there's war going on! Netherlands versus Liege are at war. There you go, more people have joined us. We need more people in um, in this category. Ooh, that's pretty low odds. That's even worse. Chief Justice, 50%. Don't like. 60%. All right, that's not bad. And I mean, I think, yeah, Walter is always going to be the better one for it. All right, 60% chance to go. Awareness is being managed. Resources are coming in. That's good. When our secret society is in danger and we're only three people, what shall we do? What could persuade the top economic, religious, military leaders of the country to join us? Wait, why didn't we do this before? Because they didn't have me leading it. Clearly. All right. Now we should make these resources available to our masters. We hit 300 everywhere. Choose any master on the map. Okay, Walter. Choose the Brotherhood mission. Done. Choose withdrawal of resources mission. Done. So this allows us to convert local resources to global ones. Um, make sure the Brotherhood has at least 600 of each, so we'll yoink out, um, well, I guess we'll yoink out the 300 local, or the 300 influence, but we, we still need more, more points to be generated here. We need, um, withdrawal, I need to yoink out 200 of power, and we need to yoink out just a little bit of wealth. We do need to unpause. You give them the mission, and then they extract it over time until it hits that. There you go. You're done there. But yeah, we don't have enough uh, local influence. So let's get... You joined. Brotherhood. Exploitation of state post. Assign. Pleased to be yoinking me some more green stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I love how warfare can be boiled down to two chaps poking each other back and forth. I mean, that sort of describes every game we play, right? From Civ to Europa to Crusader Kings, this is always what we see on the map. Two dudes just going at it solo. All right, we can yoink. Oops. Uh, withdrawal, influence, a couple hundred out. Oh, did I not actually do the, um, the military withdrawal? Power. Maybe I did it the wrong way. I need to transfer. There we go. All right. 600 everything. Get all the necessary resources for Brotherhood. Neophytes can bring in resources, however, less effectively. That's one of the other things you can use. All right. Remember not to push too far and watch level of awareness. Took the liberty of creating a plan for the early stage of the Brotherhood. Would you take a look? Yeah. So we get these Brotherhood objectives. Um, and these are true even if you're not playing the tutorial, which is really good for a little bit of guidance. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. So... Our next step is to recruit two neophytes, uh, give them titles, and establish a lodge in England. So, we achieve a lot, still, we're still few and we do not have a lodge. We have infiltrated English institutions deep enough to set up a lodge there, but doing so now is too risky. We need time to cover our tracks and be forgotten. Can I go to France? I know the language I'm dreamt there of going a long time, so Walter wants to go to France. Yes, it might be time to look for allies in France and other countries. Your decision. Please, Grandmaster, send me to France. They say it's a country of wonderful good opportunities. All right, so Brother Walter, Brotherhood, we're going to move the brother to France. All right. Well, I wouldn't mind the trip either. Denmark or the Netherlands? Either way, I'm up to the task. So should we send Roger, well, um, should we send Roger to, to Denmark or to the Netherlands? What do we think? Hardcore Ginger says Denmark. Denmark. Every, people want Denmark. All right. So, Roger, you're going to move to Denmark. Go. I like this mode of the map. I think it looks quite swell. And it is actually really useful to track our brothers. I think as we, um, as we expand all over the place, it's going to become increasingly useful. Alright, so, uh, instruct Brother Walter to infiltrate the country's institution by recruiting officials. Right, um, the thing is, if we look here, we actually don't know who any of these people are. We don't know what their traits are. Oh, and also, uh, Brother Walter, complications. He says he has no command of language. He told us he knew French, but maybe he doesn't just know it very well. The French are Catholics and seem as an outsider for Protestant country. It's difficult to me to gain their trust without a lot of effort and resources. It'd be wise to find associates in the country and have them run the in, uh, uh, things instead. So what I was going to say, we're going to go ahead and recruit neophytes in France. So now we, we are going to have a 100% chance, luckily. Um, but there is, there is some malices to this. So we're going to try to go ahead and recruit a neophyte in France. We might get a couple of them, a couple of Frenchies in here to go to work. Uh, I think you and Brother Walter got a handle on things. Find us two additional brothers while I let my bones rest. Yep. And then, uh, Roger, you're also going to go and find some neophytes in Denmark. Maybe we'll go to Aarhus and recruit Cool Man. All right. A couple new candidates. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and recruit a second one in each country as well. Just to help our numbers. Okay. Um, recruit two, two neophytes, give them titles, non-English. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and give them titles. So we've got... Who dis? Um, Lufer Ulrikson, who is Danish. He's a celebrity philosopher. He's educated. Um, and then who else we got here? Ellison Jamet, who's French. Celebrity educated who's got a bad reputation. 20% chan greater chance of being compromised. Uh, although he brings the Brotherhood more local power. All right, let's put him in the orator role. And um, there you go. This guy here can be the secretary or whatever. But now the big thing is, so we're going to go to France. We're going to go to the French government. Oh, yeah, we still want a vision. So what we can do... Hang on. 
Very good. Grandmaster Brotherhood's expanding. It's time to leave our old sanctuary and find a better base. Move Brother Walter back to England and summon on an errand. Yeah. Uh, hang on. He's recruiting a neophyte, so we're going to let him finish that. Is Petra on the map? That's a good question. Uh, be somewhere over here. I don't think there's any... No, sorry. Not there. Over here. No, and I actually can't... When I'm zoomed in, I can't scroll down any lower than this. So, I don't think they've got the uh, the monuments on there. Is Stonehenge here? No, no Stonehenge either. Okay. Uh, Brother Walter, you are now going to move back to England, because that's the, what the tutorial has asked me to do. Plus, you're English, so you should really operate in there. That seems pretty legit. And then you're going to um, establish a lodge over here. Now, in France, we now have a neophyte sitting around. And the tutorial isn't telling us to do this, but if we run the errand exploring the structures of power over here, this is how we're going to uncover who the people are in government, which seems like a pretty good idea to me. We're going to do the same thing in Denmark. Oops, uh, not this. Government, exploring the structures of power. Boom. So we're going to find out who's actually running there in government. And now we're waiting for Walter to go back to England, because there's the next step in the tutorial. Thanks for the gift subs, Jolly. All right. Establish a lodge. So Brotherhood, lodge establishment. Forgive my memory, Grandmaster. I've forgotten that founding a lodge is an expensive undertaking, but worth the price, I assure you. However, the higher level of infiltration in the country's institution, the easier and cheaper it costs. Right now, we don't have enough resources to establish a lodge. We can exploit the institutions of this country and infiltrate the institutions of other countries to collect enough resources. So, collect the resources to establish a lodge in England. Note that to establish a lodge, the level of infiltration in a country's institution must be at least three. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to extract more funds from England. So we're going to get um, all the influence. Oh, we completed a mission, so that helped. Oh, maybe that's why it sort of canceled things, because I just realized I may have... Maybe you can only extract one type of resource at a time, so I might have canceled stuff before. All right, we definitely have enough money. Um, what do you... Oh, you're withdrawing. Yeah, uh, no. Go ahead and finish the withdrawal. That's going to be fine. Excellent. So now we have enough to establish a lodge. So, a lodge isn't only a place brothers can gather to increase unity within the ranks. It's also where they can discuss their thoughts without pretending and thus can be used to our advantage. Lodge chooses, initiates, and promotes its members, trusts them with its secrets, and allocates resources for the fulfillment of goals. From here, groups of brothers pull the strings to influence the governments of the whole country. Um, so this would establish a lodge in England. Each day, the lodge will bring resources to the treasury of the Brotherhood without raising awareness. Very, very, very convenient. The amount of resource depends on the infiltration level. Da, 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 da. So we'll do this. Awareness 47%. There's 2% chance of resistance now. Um, what I'm going to do is... I think we might still be okay. Hey, anyway, what I'll do is I'll cancel all these. And this. Oops. Am I not clicking the right thing? There you go. Okay. I'm going to get the top three to still be exploiting. And we're going to only have them exploit if there's a 0% chance of being busted. So that should prevent the awareness from, um, from going up by itself. Now, in addition to that, I'm going to take uh, the tax minister. You're going to be responsible for hiding activities over here. Now, I guess you have to be a little more willing to run that. I don't know exactly how that works. So if there's any chance of being busted, which right now these there are, these three should be idle, and this one should just be working all the time to reduce awareness. Yeah, exactly. Have the lower level people working in there. Now, there's one guy who's still idle in there, but I'm going to say that's okay. I don't know. Go back to France and see what the situation is. Okay, we haven't uncovered anyone yet. Quick, hide our taxes. We'll put them in Panama. But no one write it down on paper. I like how this is essentially a hot fud simulator. The greater good. For the greater good. We still have a bunch of the UI that's still locked by the uh, the tutorial. Manuscripts, a bunch of stuff over here. It's going to get hairy soon. Let's go up to fast mode. Lodge is done. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Summon more lodges. 
You've established Lodge in England. A Lodge is an important strategic asset. The level of Lodge is made up of the total level of infiltration in the institutions of the country which is established. You can have several Lodges, but no more than one per country. Having a Lodge in the country gives you a number of advantages. It brings in daily resources to the Brothers Treasury without raising awareness. President Lodge makes errands easier to run in the country, especially by citizens of the countries of other countries. The Lodge automatically tracks the activity of potential enemies and increases and creates interference. And all these become stronger the higher the Lodge level is. We've been quite active lately. Shouldn't we cover up our tracks? Still don't feel safe after what happened. Send Brother Walter to hide signs of activity in the Brotherhood section. Run this errand in England. All right. So Brotherhood. Um, hide signs of activity. Can't afford to be discovered. Commoner's not very bright. So yeah. Awareness in England falls by 15 with this mission. It's interesting that the UI for this is different than the one in the government version. But I think because this is a one-shot version, right? The guys in the government work constantly to do that. This is just a one-time task. So when this completes, there you go. The awareness just dropped. Um, now, they're, they're just teaching us that we should now hide from the world, which will restore his secrecy. Um, discards the established surveillance cannot be detected. Secrecy re recovers by five every day. And the iron cost will be spent every day. So it's going to spend four wealth every day until um, Walter's secrecy is maxed out. Because he's at a 90 out of 150 is a cap. So we'll get back up to 150. We'll complete that. Mm -hmm. So as a reminder, everyone, this is a sponsored stream, sponsored by the people behind uh, Secret Government, uh, Once the Entertainment, I believe. Uh, if you do an exclamation mark what game, you can get a link to the Steam page uh, where you can check out the game for yourself. It just came out of early access two days ago or so. Um, oops. What is it? Hide, oh, Hide the World is done. Brother has found a new home. New supporters finally able to take care of ourselves. Errands from the section Counteraction, Captives, and Reconnaissance are available to our brothers. So it's unlocked more buttons for us to click. Uh, by using these, you can resist enemy agents if they dare to venture into our territory. It's time to return to our main task, however, steering the world towards progress. I suspect that someone has been leading the world to a religious schism. Schism? Schism. Schism? I'm going to go with schism. I'm betting people go both ways with it. Schism? All right, hit him with the, the K. All right, Relis has schism for a long time. They did not like our efforts to unite them. We can honor your uncle's legacy by making life a little more difficult for enemies. Ooh, that's, that's fine. I, I like messing with my enemies. Grandmaster, my brothers and I have gathered information about the current situation in the world. Take a look. Look at the religious bias of different countries. Yeah, map modes, baby. We got map modes. I just realized I'm hiding, well, I'm hiding a button. It's not, it's not an active button right now, but I think I was mousing at this a second ago. This is the filters menu. You can use it to switch the type of information that will be destroyed, displayed on the map. More, most filters have additional settings and modes that you can adjust. Select the religion filter. So, the, right over here. Boom. As you can see, the bulk of the Protestants are concentrated in the north, separated uh, from the Catholics to the south by the sea. Sounds to me, young man, as if you are riding off the Netherlands, Saxony, and Brandenburg. I wouldn't recommend that. In fact, that's where I'd start looking. The Germanic people are split in their faith. It's especially noticeable at the border of Saxony and Brandenburg with Austria. The Austrian army is strong. If we can subdue Brandenburg, it leaves Saxony without an ally and opens the gate for Catholicism in Scandinavia, or even England. Is there anything we can do to change that? Yes, I have a few ideas, but the fate of those, country, fate of those countries in the Brotherhood rests on your decision. Allow me to explain. So we can open the Brotherhood objectives window. New objective is available. In short, we have two options. Option one, we can aid in Brandenburg's defense and protect the Protestant world, or we can stand with Austrian conquest and take the first step towards uniting Europe under the Catholic Church. So the idea is, we're, we're not really invested in any particular variant of religion as the correct one. I mean, the Brotherhood is our co sort of correct religion, right? What we're concerned about is religious strife, because we're trying to unite the world in the sort of, you know, new world order kind of thing. Um, so we're going to have to choose which side we're going to support. Please note, there are different ways to fill in objectives. Use the switch to review available options. There's no need to choose right now, Grandmaster. You can accept my offer and decide what to do with it later time. Get to work, brothers. We have new objectives to fill. So yeah. So if we wanted to uh, push Catholicism, then we'd establish a lodge in Austria, infiltrate the army, develop a plan of attack, or diversity protection. We'd establish a lodge in Brandenburg, infiltrate the army there, and develop a defense plan. So maybe, maybe we can do a, a poll at this point and see we're trying to unite the world yeah unite the world with us you know secretly running the entire thing behind behind the scenes of course making a new poll uh which path to take um austria slash 
Catholicism. 